Hello everybody, I'm Messiah here and today I'm going to be bringing you the first part of my dynamic map guide where I'll be showing you basically all the interactive Hi, objects on each map that I find. This is the biggest one really with the most objects you can find, some only have a little one or two. So the first one is over here by this warehouse as you can see, there's half a ladder and look for this sign because this sign a lot will tell you which is uh, interactive and what you can do with them so all you're going to do is shoot this ladder and it comes down and nicely lets you up into the warehouse where a lot of people go this is a brilliant spot uh, you can get to it from the inside as you can see up that ladder there or up them stairs round and up but when you're outside and there's people in here it's a brilliant little place to go up that ladder and catch them off guard so that's the first interactive spot anyway. Now an interactive spot basically is um, something I've just introduced into Call of Duty where certain objects will move, certain things you can do just to uh, help yourself out a little bit. But mainly on this map there's these little keypads here, one on the inside, one on the outside. And if you go up to them really close, it says you can press and hold to shut the door and that basically helps you out a little bit because you've already got these two and that little entrance to worry about now so one little spot to stop looking for really does help out um, if you're in the middle of them or someone starts running through as they're shutting them they won't shut properly they'll wait till you get through and then carry on to shut but I think that's pretty cool really it means people can you know use a bit more technique to to keep an area locked down so I, I am quite a fan of these little interactive spots so there's one in every major warehouse there's four major warehouses this is the second one again another door shut in and this spot's brilliant because now you can hear that door opening so people coming up behind you and you can just lay down here it does encourage you camping a little bit I think but it's more if you use right and people don't abuse it it's just to survive you know if someone's chasing you, you can shut that door, run through and catch your wind a little bit. Now the next one is this little gate here. As you can see, it's locked. And a lot of people don't know that you can go up to it and shoot it or melee it and they will open. And they'll bring you to this nice little underground passage that you can use to get from one side of the map to the other. Uh, safer than running across the middle where a lot of people look so this can be used to the advantage and just at the top of these stairs we have another keypad where we can actually shut these doors off so when you're running through again if someone's following you you can shut the doors behind you and if they're far enough behind it'll basically just trap them now they'll probably end up following you and stuff like that but it'll give you enough time to just regroup yourself and maybe hide a little bit or turn around regen a bit of health so there's three keypads here there's one on the other side of the door there's one down here at the bottom and as you've just seen there's one up top and all it does is basically moves this big silo in front of it on rails and um, shuts the door and the final one is just here in this warehouse one keypad there outside and one keypad on the inside and again just simply shuts the door so there's a lot of repetitiveness with these interactive parts of this map but it really does make the game quite a bit funner you can you know you can maybe annoy the enemy quite a lot by just shutting all the doors and they're having to run around or I mean I've had battles before with people where they've been opening the doors I've been shutting them and we've been trying to shoot each other over like the cracks through the doors when they're half open and half out but more than anything it lets you know when they're coming if you're looking through a door that's open and you've got a shut one behind you and you hear it open you can simply spin around and just take them out so that's it anyway four sets of opening doors a ladder that you can shoot and it falls down and some lock gates that you can shoot or melee to open so that's part one anyway of the interactive objects dynamic map guide I'll be doing all the maps, no matter how many there are or how little. Some have just one, like I said. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.